Right people, this is Sheffield Canal Basin and I'm on a holy quest. I'm off up to Tinsley in the IKEA to pick up a couple of USB chargers. So this is where the quest starts. And I'll be heading up the towpath to Carbrook and the IKEA or IKEA if you want to be pedantic. I'll give you a look at the um, canal. Sheffield, Sheffield and Tinsley Canal. We used to play in this warehouse when we were kids. That used to be a spiral slide. We used to climb up it. Yeah, it's cleaned up a lot this place. We used to swim in here back in the day. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to be heading up the towpath towards Ikea. Catch you later. Quick pan round Victoria Keys. St John's church and the Hyde Park flats up there. Mm, flowers. I'm going to be going over there heading towards Tinsley Locks. See you later. May as well get some wobbly vision footage. Very quiet on here these days. Back in the day, there were factories in operation all the way up and down here. I'm tempted to just let the camera run, but I don't think you'd want to see a hour long video. I can't remember if this is the Bacon Lane Bridge. Opening scenes for the film uh, The Full Monty were filmed down here. Yeah, I think this is Bacon Lane, I can't remember. Well, Bacon Lane Bridge might be the next one up. We'll have a look at the plaque. Whoops. Ah oh, no, this is not the Bacon Lane Bridge. So that'll be Cadman Street. This is the Cadman Street Bridge. Yeah. Cadman Street. Let's get under here. This canal's full of carp. 
got a dog walker there. That looks like Marine Mickey. Yeah. Is it his Tibetan Terrier? Hey up Mickey. I'm all right. I went in Harlequin for the first time in five years. Where? Last week with some mates. I'm probably going in later on. Well, Edge was in Thursday. I was in with Thursday. Yeah. I was asking. I was asking where you were. I saw Neil. Aye. Well, that'll be good then. I'm not going to film you because I'm putting this on YouTube. Oh, hey. I'm all right. So this is Mickey. Isn't it? He's an ex-marine, so don't <laughs> <laughs> be careful. There's Neil. Have you got any, is that Alfie. Alfie's still going? My oh, God, let's get Alf Alfie. Alfie, hey up Alfie. Ah. Tibetan Terrier. I, I might nip into Harley Quinn later on for my Sunday dinner. But I'm going up no, to that. They don't do it. They don't eat. Have you stopped doing Sunday dinner? Because of lockdown. Jesus, I know it was short. I mean, I've, I've been down in day, but. Because I, I work in town now, part time ah, yeah. job. Yeah, picking litter up, believe it or not. Now that they've stopped eating food altogether now. Uh, so you can narrate them I'm alright. I'm fitter. I've been off booze for like forever. Wait, I, think I am now. I don't go out now much. Yeah. Once a week, twice a week. I'll be in Monday. I've got to finish bottle. I might see you around because I'll, I'll still go in but I won't be drinking no, beer. No, you'll I'm, I'm going up to Ikea to get some, you know, phone charges, USB charges. Because yeah, yeah. apparently they do really good ones. Ah. So I'm going to nip up there. Yeah. Alright. Go on see you later, Mickey. Take care, mate. Take care, man. Oh, is that? <laughs> yeah, that was Mickey the Marine. He's got a narrowboat on the canal basin. He's a good bloke. You don't want to mess about with him, I'll tell you that for now. <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, oh pigeons. I'm going to continue filming to the Bacon Lane Bridge. There you can see fish biting there. Fish are coming up. There's, like I said, there's tons of carp in this thing. Tons of carp in this canal. Big buggers, I know. Uh, back in the day, used to fish down here. I don't do fishing anymore, though. Actually, you know what? I think I'll uh, just stop filming for a minute. Otherwise, this video's gonna gonna get on a bit. I really ought to stick this bloody camera on my head, didn't I? God, it's all changed down here. I'm surprised I haven't got any cyclists. Uh, this is the Bernard Road incinerator, where all the city's rubbish gets burnt and turned into electrical power. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, just close down for a bit and come back later. Bit of a scrapyard there. Uh, just do another clip walking up the canal. Uh, I think this one might be the Bacon Lane Bridge, the one up there in the distance. Yeah, bacon. It's my favourite vegetable. Looks like there's some ducks on the canal further up as well. Good eating on a duck. Oh god, actually it looks like a swan. 
could be a swan. I think you uh, you can't eat them. I think you've got to get royal family first dibs on uh, on stuff like that. It could be a duck. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not up on ornithology. Fun fact: my dad back in the day helped build this towpath. Oh, it's a duck, not a swan. You probably can't see it in glorious wobbly vision. It's a big duck. Oh. Still a ways to get. go to Ikea. You see it. Quack, 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 quackity bloody quack. Poor little buggers on its own. I hope this audio comes out because <laughs> I'm recording on the Wobbly Vision microphone. We'll see. I must say it's really clean down here, I were expecting it to be more of a tip but I passed a volunteer litter picker further back I wasn't filming then uh, yeah good on him for keeping, uh, or good on these volunteers for keeping this nice and tidy uh, like I say I pick litter up in town, in town centre I get paid for it though Oh, there we go. Crow. Tell me that's not the Spartan steelworks been pulled down. Oh my god, is that, is that where the Spartan... Or is that further up? I think Spartan steel might be here. Uh, further up towards Attercliffe. Whew! It's actually not a bad day. Yeah, this is the Bacon Lane Bridge. Bacon Lane Bridge, Sheffield and Tinsley Canal. I love bacon. Bridge number six. Bacon Lane Bridge. Get some bacon, bacon bread, and look <laughs> at bacon lane bridge reverb. Can't get me words out. Yeah. It's a view from the other side. Really, this wobbly vision camera is not doing uh, the canal any drift. Any drift. All them pallets there. Sell them for a tenner a pop. Bacon Lane Bridge. And I'm still heading uh, up there a ways towards the IKEA. Right, catch you later. My bad earlier on. This is the Spartan Works. A bit muddy on this bit of the path. And I didn't put my uh, ludicrously over spec boots on. Yeah, Spartan Works. Whew. It's going to be a bit jerky, I'm avoiding uh, some muddy bits. And it's wobbly vision, it's supposed to be jerky. Looks like they're putting down some... Uh, 
material to stabilise the path surface. Whew. Yeah, somebody's been ripping bags. You hear that bird song? That little bugger's basically telling me to get lost. <laughs> it's his territory. Well, tough. I'm only passing through. Whew. Still a ways to the IKEA. I might actually stop filming and uh, there we go, we're coming under another bridge. Coming up to Woodburn Road. Uh, IKEA's not far behind that. Whew. Oh, there we go. Little sign there Staniforth Road and Woodburn Athletics Track. Oh dear. I'm going to look back down there. Uh, that were interesting news from Mickey back there about the fact that Harlequin uh, ain't open for Sunday lunch anymore. Oh dear, uh, apparently all that lot shut down in the pandemic. Nice pub, the Harlequin. I spent far too much time in there. Really good beer. Uh, I think I will go in later on. Maybe I saw Pete. There we go, for all you uh, bridge engineering aficionados. Yeah, it's a bit muddy up that track, so I'm going to uh, close the camera down again. Okay, we're further up the canal, approaching the lock areas. Some guys over there carp fishing. Got a shelter up. There's some bloody huge carp in here, I'll tell you that for now. Uh, I can't remember. I've just passed Broughton Lane and I can't remember what this bit's called. Is there a walk up here? Uh, Plenty of wildlife. <clears throat> Tell you what, I'm tempted to bring the. I've got the zoom in the bag, but uh, I don't really have time today to do any um, recording. But I'm tempted to come down here and get some of the birds sung because uh, the microphone on this uh, wobbly vision camera ain't doing it justice. There's a cyclist coming, I'm just getting to one side. Brown Bailey's Bridge. So this is where the old uh, Brown Bailey Steelworks used to be. There's a coop down there. Side up bridge. A lot of waterfowl down on uh, down on this canal. Other thing as well, this camera's only got one mic, so it's monophonic. Where there's a zoom, I've got an XY pair, so I could. Uh, is that a goose? They can be a bit dangerous. What do you think, fried or boiled? <laughs> He's upset. 
or she's upset, I don't know, can't tell them apart. I'm not an expert on geese. Anyway, we're approaching uh, Carbrook now, and the IKEA's still way over there. I think this is where the um, Atticliffe Police Station is, sort of just up here. Right, catch you in the next segment. Whew, I'm shattered. I had to jump across the tow to the towpath on the opposite side back there. Whew. We're approaching the start of Tinsley Locks now. Tinsley Flight. Hey up mate. No, nah, not bad. Oh, I'm shattered. <laughs> Have a good fish. <laughs> yeah, this is Tinsley Flight. Not far from the IKEA now. Oh. I tell you what, discretion is going to be a better part of valour. One, I need rehydration. And uh, I think I'll catch the tram back into town. <laughs> I want to pick my USB chargers up. There's a little uh, overflow sluice there. Let's get some uh, water ASMR. Tinsley Canal locks. There's quite a bunch of these. Uh, Tinsley Flight. That's all been tidied up since uh, back when I was a lad. The IKEA's over there somewhere. Through the trees is uh, Hollywood Bowl and uh, Don Valley Arena. Whew. There's quite a few boats on here. Tinsley Marina. I, can't, I don't know if you can see that. There's an electricity pylon over there for all you electricity pylon aficionados. Yeah. A lot of boats in wobbly vision. Yeah, Tinsley. Uh, Tinsley Locks. Looks like we've left a muddy uh, towpath tow behind as well. Whew. Considering it's my uh, day job to do a lot of walking, I'm pretty shattered today and the, the temperature's quite high for. Uh, it's very pushing. Uh, Pushing 17 or 18 Celsius, I reckon. But then again, I am uh, being active. There's another lock there. Let's see if we can uh, get a look at the water flowing over the top of the lock gate. I might make this a regular walk up here from my flat up the canal uh, towpath and back. There we go. Canal locking. 320p wobbly vision. More narrow boats. I'll probably be leaving the canal at some point because I've, and although I know where IKEA is, I've never actually been in this store before. The only reason I'm on this quest is to grab some uh, USB chargers, which I'll show at the end of the video. 
I'll also put a link to Big Clive's video or videos. They're really good. Uh, that looks like a dredger. Sorry, a bit of a side yeah, that, that must be a dredger for dredging the uh, shite out of the canal basins. Whew. Apparently this entire area were blitzed during the Second World War. Uh, one because of the steelworks. And uh, back then this canal were a tr transportation link. This is Tinsley Lock 3, there's quite a few of them. Right. I'm going to stop filming for a bit and uh, get me breath back. Yeah, I thought I'd get the uh, other side of the lock for posterity. It's blue, it's big. It's IKEA. Now the question is, do I cross back there? Yeah. I'm gonna have to go back. I hope. Oh, this is another bridge up here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a little path down here. I'm approaching my goal. Nearly went past it. I've kinda arrived at the IKEA. Gotta get across these railway tracks now. Yeah, so I'm round the back of the IKEA. I tell you what, I think I'll be getting a tram back into town from this stop. Assuming I can find these USB chargers I'm after. I think they're in the uh, lighting section according to my extensive internet research. My niece is a massive, uh, massive fan of this place. I've never actually been in it. Uh, I've assembled a lot of IKEA furniture, but never actually been in this uh, particular particular store. Right, I think the entrance is like, a big barn or a place, isn't it? I could do with a drink of water. Oh, there's, a, there's a sign there saying entrance. Ah, IKEA. My quest is nearly over. Wandering round an IKEA park, car park trying to find a bloody entrance. Entrance. I've made it out of the IKEA alive. It's a barn or a place that. There's a Greg's over there. That's tempting. Whew.
I used to work at a factory over at the top of that. Anyway. Ick. Here. I'm going to catch a tram. Right. I'm at the tram stop behind the Ick here. I've got 10 minutes to wait for one. I got my charges. They're in this bag. I'll do an unboxing later and tack it on end. Ah, oh, it's like a bloody maze in that place. You you have to go through all the departments before you can uh, get out. It's like extreme video gaming in real life. Anyway, according to that sign, my tram's due in eight minutes. So, uh, next thing you probably see is me unboxing these um, charges I've bought. From the old Ikea. <laughs> These are the charges I bought. I got the these two are still in the boxes and these are that's the triple one. So I've got a single one. The single one I'm going to use as um, a kind of a nightlight. They're really good charges these. I'm going to put a link to Big Clive's um, it's a bit swampy outy. Big Clive's video describing and it's a bit weird this because the thing uh, plugs into the normal socket and sticks out the side but for my intended purposes as a night light this is uh, okay and this one the three three way one I'm going to use um, on here to power a variety of USB devices so that's two I bought four I got two of the three-way ones and two of the single ones um, that's the old Chromebook okay people my quest was a success take care and catch you in the next one